we're going to be taking a first look at the Pepwave Balance 20X, an intriguing new option for our mobile users. Hi, I'm Chris at the Mobile Internet Resource Center here today to talk about the Pepwave Balance 20X router. This is a new offering from Pepwave that isn't really intended for the mobile market, but is actually surprisingly compelling. So the Pepwave Balance lineup is normally intended for branch offices, and the Balance 20X, because it integrates in a cellular modem into it, is designed for branch offices that would have primarily a cable or DSL uplink, and um, you know, the cable goes down, the cellular takes over instantly as a backup. So that's kind of the purpose of it. This is not Pepwave's typical rugged metal vehicle enclosures or anything like that. This is a more of an office type product but it actually has some features that make it interestingly compelling for the mobile market and um, a really, really great price too. So let's go over what's, what this has got. So the Balance 20X, it's got a CAT4 cellular modem, so a low-end cellular modem built into it. You're normally not super appealing to us, but it does support LTE band 71 so, and uh, AT&T FirstNet, so it's got support for the long-range AT&T and T-Mobile bands. Um, and as Five Ethernet ports, has 802.11 AC Wave 2 Wi-Fi, so really good, fast, local Wi-Fi. The Ethernet ports are gigabit Ethernet. And of course, it has a GPS port like most uh, Pepwave products, so you can track where this goes on a map and via the Pepwave's control panel interface, which is all well and good. And then its starting price, just $399. So it's a lot of interesting technology for $399. But what gets really interesting here is this slot here, where you can add in a second modem module, like this one here. And so Pepwave's got a whole range of modem modules. They've got a CAT6 modem for $249, a CAT12 for $399, or a CAT18 with 4x4 MIMO support for four cellular antennas for $499. So for $499 plus $399, suddenly you've got a dual modem with a whole lot of capabilities a cellular device. That'll just slide right in there. Um, and you can add then a third cellular connection via the USB port. So this is one of the things we've always craved on Pepwave devices is a USB port. A lot of their mobile devices don't have that. This does. So you can tether in a third cellular connection far via USB, via just a typical jetpack or USB modem. So it's a lot of interesting capabilities um, and a few other interesting things it has is this slot Pepwave's promising that they will someday, who knows how long it'll take, but it's probably within the next year, have a 5G modem module, so you'll potentially have an upgrade path to 5G. And this also supports um, Pepwave's uh, bonding technology, their speed fusion bonding technology. So you can com actually combine and use all of these different connections together simultaneously. Um, it's, it's sold on the Prime Care model, so for the $399 price, you get one year of Prime Care. That includes the bonding feature turned on, and to continue, it's another $49 a year if you want that advanced feature unlocked. Of course, for making it suitable for mobile users, the power supply is you know, typical plug-into-the-wall power supply, but the router itself takes 10 volts to 30 volts, so it's very easy to wire into a vehicle power. So, okay. So the SIM slots are actually located on the bottom of the device, and so it's going to be a little bit more awkward to change SIMs for the built-in modem. But the expansion slot module has the SIM slots easily accessible on the side. So we are really intrigued by both the overall capabilities and value of this new router from Pepwave, the Balance 20X. Um, we've just gotten this sent from Pepwave to take a closer look and review this. So we'll be diving in and sharing our hands-on experiences with this with our members for the our supporters at the Mobile Internet Aficionados. So our members, please join us and follow along as we get some hands-on time with this. We'll be comparing it to our previous um, top pick Pepwave router, the Max Transit. You can see they're physically similar but quite a bit different. This is physically bigger.
This is the Max Transit, is their vehicle model, so it's metal case, more rugged, can handle more uh, extremes of temperature. But this has got some interesting new capabilities and new values, and well, they both have dual modem capabilities. So we'll be going head to head with these two devices in our member areas, and we have also just put out for our members a guide to the complete PepWave product line. So we encourage our members to check that out to understand the trade offs between them all. And then one other thing new from PepWave we're checking out that we'll be adding in and testing with this is the new PepWave Puma 401 uh, multicellular antenna. So this is a 4x4 MIMO antenna, which is potentially a perfect pairing to devices like this. So we will be checking all of this out and um, invite you to follow along. And meanwhile, there's a first look at what's new from PepWave. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.